Hello guys, this is Right Doodles, and today I'm bringing you guys a series which is a beginner guide for Cinema 4G. That is for pretty much for beginners, people who are not experienced at this program. Um, and I have quite a lot of subscribers that are beginners at Cinema 4G. They, they ask me a lot of really simple questions. So yeah i'm just i just decided to do this to teach a lot of my subscribers how to how to do like the basics in cinema 4d so uh let's open it up okay so let's start off with creating a text so go to mograph Mo and select mo text Okay, uh, and then here at Motex you have object, you have uh, all these options like depth, subdivision, you have this box where you can type in whatever you want, like R, I, do, wait, tutorials, and yeah, pretty much just type in whatever you want. Um, and then you have depth. Let's change the depth to 50 for now. And as you can see, when you change the depth, it makes the text wider. Or yeah, you you can see what's going on. Anyways, let's put it to 50. And go to font. Uh, change the font to whatever you want. You can download and install fonts. Uh, from dafont.com and how you install it is let's say you downloaded a font you just right click on it and click install it's easy as that and then you restart cinema 4d and then you find that font in cinema 4d so just select whatever font you like <coughs> okay and now there is a line, so there's like middle, left, right. It's pretty much your own preference, how you like to work with the text in the uh, with the controls being in the middle of the text or on the size of the text. I actually like it when it's in the middle because when you turn it, it turns around the middle but you can just select whatever you want here it's up to you and then there's height that's pretty much like the size of it uh, yeah this you can also put to whatever you want the size and there's horizontal spacing yeah that's you can see what's going on you make it bigger the text just goes apart and then you make it smaller it comes together Anyways, I just put it to zero. Okay, so then there's caps. Caps are basically the edges of the text. You can make them round or you can make them square. <coughs> so here's the start cap and here's the end cap, which is uh, the front and the back of the text. So here at the start, select fillet cap. So you can see what happened here. We have this uh, square edge now, and if you select none again, you'll oh, actually if you select cap again, you'll just be like really straight and yeah, it's it's not good. I don't like that. So just select fill it cap, and then at the end select fill it cap, and then there's steps and radius. So steps are basically to just select how round you want the edges to be. If you select it really high, the edges will be very smooth and round. If you put it down, it's, they're just gonna be like square. Anyways, just put them up like 25, 25 steps and then put the radius to uh, three. And then same here uh, at the end cap. Just put the steps to 25 and radius to 3. 
all right so we're basically done with the text creating the text <coughs> now let's uh, let me show you guys how to do a scene setup so in this part I'm, I won't be going over how to do a light lighting and stuff like that I'll just go over basic things in the next tutorial in the next few tutorials I'll be talking about lighting and other things but um, yeah there is so uh, here you got a lot of options uh, on how to set up your scene so just uh, select this icon and you can see there's different different icons here that's floor sky environment foreground background foreground if you select that and then uh, you create a material this will basically this material will basically cover the uh, cover your screen so if you render this it's gonna be gray and if you select transparency select the material and select transparency and then put the brightness down to like 80 and then render this again and as you can see it's uh, you can barely see the text so this is useful because you can like put flares you can put a flare and the flare will uh, like it will be like right in front of the text I don't know you can also do like dust dust effects as if your lens is dirty uh, yeah those kind of things but that's not for beginners anyways there's floor that's basic you get floor and it goes infinite and yeah just create a floor for now and there's physical sky this one I really like because it creates realistic uh, realistic lighting effect as if it's you know real life it's pretty nice but let's not use that one so just delete it if you create it uh, and that will be pretty much it for this first part in the next parts I'll be showing you a lot of different things and yeah it'll be really nice looking at the end and hopefully you'll learn a lot of things if you're a beginner so uh, thank you guys for watching please don't hate this video if you're not a beginner uh, and see you guys later